Budapest, Hungary. Because my 23andMe DNA results told me I had some ancestors. So and because we're gonna we're sisters, learn. we both have it. So this is true. <laughs> that is that's a thing. So we're gonna learn a little so. bit more and explore a bit of us. So behind me is the St. Itzvan Basilica. This is gorgeous. And we've kind of just have like a lovely little town square. the Shezhny Bridge. It was actually the first permanent bridge that connected the Buddha and the Pesh side together. So we're going to make our way. So that's the Buddha side? Yeah, that's the Buddha side. <laughs> that's the Buddha side? Yeah, that's the Pesh side. That's Pesh side. That's Buddha side. Buddha? Pesh. Pesh. Buddha. And, and Buddha. And Buddha. And Pesh. <laughs> Two ways to get up to the Buddha side. There is the funicular, and there's also a trail that goes up over there. But I think we're gonna take like the zigzaggy path and just gradually make our way up. This is our our signage that we are currently following. Which way to the castle? This, this is clearly the most legit sign. Legit. Out there. Castle. I mean, <laughs> clearly very official castle sign this way. Behind me is the Budapest Castle. It was built in 1265 and it is the historical palace of the Hungarian kings. So this is actually a 14th century church built by the king. It was built in the 14th century for a named after King Matthias, who was actually married here. And it's actually a beautiful, beautiful yeah. part of uh, the top of the castle grounds. at a traditional Hungarian restaurant. With got... Czech beer. <laughs> With Czech, Czech beer. beer. First off, what we got over here, we got a very famous Hungarian dish. Goulash. Goulash soup. Goulash. Oh goulash. yeah. Beef goulash, you guys both got beef goulash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and that looks delicious. Nice and spicy with yeah. paprika. Another one, this is a paprika potato kind of mix. And then I got some um, coleslaw. It was vegan and Hungarian, and it looks really actually delicious, so. Might be really spicy? Yeah. Yeah, try it. How is it? It's good, but it's not like overly spicy, so maybe we'll oh. add some spice. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, it's like a, a paprika potato salad almost. I think that's actually what it was, a paprika potato salad. Like a lovely, I love paprika. I feel like in North America, we do not use enough paprika. At, in all of Eastern Europe, really, they love Heavy on the paprika. paprika. They yeah. love the paprika. That's good. Good morning. Today we are doing a tour of the Hungarian Parliament Building. It is actually the third largest Parliament Building in the world. In the world? So, in the world. Wow. 268 meters. Just two meters longer than the British Parliament. Yeah, so that's like, that's the length of the Parliament Building here. Yeah. They like, they wow. snuck ahead of London. That yeah. one. They we just like insert. <laughs> Coming up. I was like, what? I thought it was gonna be like a fountain. 
in and we're like, oh and yeah, like a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we we're gonna be like in the midst of a fountain. Oh my goodness. Steps. Like the, steps. <laughs> the craziest thing is, so they were saying that actually in World War Two, yeah. that a lot of this parliament was bombed. Yeah, they had like almost half. Was almost bombed. half was bombed, and, and it took six years to rebuild it. But the windows were saved. So what'd you find out, Steph? Um, that the the King of Hungary and like the National Assembly um, for like the Hungarian Empire was actually based in like Slovakia, who was so in Bratislava, which is like Hus. Sony. Oh, so old, 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 old names. Is, yeah. Old names, which is like Bratislava. And it was there until I think like the until 1800 and something. And then, then they actually came to like Hungary and they formed a here called Budapest, which is again, here's like. Yeah, Buddha and Pass. So like it makes sense now. Here you go. It's like the river. Yeah. Oh, it's like Budapest. Which actually makes a lot of sense because so Slovakia and Hungary actually share a lot of, I guess, similar. Yeah, they're all part of like, what was it, the Hungarian Empire? Or like they're, yeah, the Austrian Union. Yeah, they share like they share history where they're together, and so and a lot of the time, like the, the like the actual center of this empire was in Slovakia. Yeah, which we're actually yeah. So we have Slovakian heritage. So which is which is also which possibly is kind of like Hungarian. Hungarian. So it's all kind of combined and mixed in there. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I hope you are enjoying this lovely day in Budapest. So we are just about to head into the Sessiony Thermal Baths. They are baths in Budapest, and I'm super excited to go into that. But before I do, I wanted to tell you guys and gals about a sweepstakes that 23andMe is putting on. It's pretty epic, so listen up. 23andMe is giving away 23 trips to 23 winners to travel based on their DNA. So go check it out. Links here, more information down below in the description, and um, yeah. Well, let's go explore the baths now, shall we? I'm excited because it is super hot and we are going to take a dip and go and enjoy this amazing bath complex, which is really just like a gigantic swimming pool. I feel like this is just a gigantic swimming pool. You know, I kind of actually enjoyed the cooler pool right now. On a hot day, oh, it's hot, right hot. on a hot day, the cooler pool oh, is yeah. quite refreshing. So we are just getting ready for our dinner cruise on the Danube River here in Budapest. Are you super excited? This is super, this is really nice. Really lovely. The weather turned out for us, so it's beautiful and sunny. We'll see a nice sunset tonight. Oh, we're gonna see a beautiful sunset, and then it's gonna be all like starry. Cheers! <laughs> So I've got the pork tenderloin with uh, some sort of risotto. I'm not really sure what's in the risotto. Like a risotto? Risotto. risotto. I mean, you can say it both ways. 